Welcome to a tutorial on how to determine higher order derivatives on the TA89 graphene calculator. We'll look at two examples of determining the first through fourth derivatives. So looking at this first example, we'll be determining the derivatives using the derivative function under the calculus menu, which we access by pressing F3. So let's go ahead and press F3. Notice that differentiate is the first option. So we can press enter or the number one. And now we enter the original function which should be one divided by, we do need the three x to the sixth in parentheses, so open parenthesis, three x raised to the power of six, close parenthesis, plus two. Now for the cubit of x, we'll enter this as x raised to the power of one third, so x exponent key, and then in parentheses, one third, or one divided by three, plus natural log x, which is second x for natural log, x close parenthesis, and then we enter a comma, the variable x, and now if we close the parenthesis here and press enter, this will give us the first derivative of the original function. So let's go ahead and press enter. We now know f prime of x is equal to this function here. And now to find the second derivative, which is a derivative of the first derivative, we can edit this previous entry by placing a comma two after the x. So let's go ahead and press the right arrow. Notice how the previous entry is still here. And now we'll press the left arrow. And then if we enter a comma two, and notice how the close parenthesis is still there, this two will give us the second derivative of the original function, which means if we change the two to a one, we would also get the first derivative. But the default without this extra value is the first derivative. So if we press enter, so f double prime is equal to this function here. So if we change the two to a three, we'll get the third derivative. If we change the two to a four, we'll get the fourth derivative. So again, we'll press the right arrow, left arrow once, backspace or back arrow once, three for the third derivative, and enter. F triple prime is equal to this function here. And then finally to find the fourth derivative, we change the three to a four. So right arrow, left arrow, backspace, four, enter. The fourth derivative is equal to this function here. Let's look at one more example. Here we're given g of x equals two cosine x, and again we're asked to find the first through fourth derivatives. Let's go through the process again. We'll press F3 for the calculus menu, one for differentiate, enter the original function, g of x equals two cosine is second z, x close parenthesis, comma the variable x, close parenthesis will give us the first derivative, so g prime of x equals negative two sine x. And now to find the second derivative, we'll edit this entry by placing a comma two after the x. So right arrow, left arrow, comma two, enter. The second derivative or g double prime is equal to negative two cosine x. And now we'll change the two to a three, right arrow, left arrow, backspace three, enter g triple prime of x, or the third derivative is equal to two sine x. And then finally to find the fourth derivative, we'll change the three to a four. Right arrow, left arrow, backspace, four, enter. And notice how the fourth derivative is equal to two cosine x, which is also the same as the original function, g of x. I hope you found this helpful.